ngayon, nagbibinta sila ng ticket, another ticket. Pinibinta nila ito, tapos ano, bili ka is one dollar each. Tapos, mamili ka kung ano yung gusto mong mapanalunan. So, ilagay mo yung ticket mo kung saan mo gustong mapanalunan. Pero we'll see mamaya sa raffle drawing. So, ganito yung style nila is... Meron silang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 items yung pang raffle nila. Pag yung gusto mong mapanalunan ito, so, ilagay mo lang yung ticket dito. Nailagay ko na kasi dalawa yung duplicate naman yung ticket. Yung isa is dito may lagay. So, dalawa yung lagay ko para dalawang chance. Yeah. 
sheep wanders out, or when the sheep is in trouble, or when the sheep needs to be picked up. The staff is a symbol of mercy and compassion. Amen. This is what the staff is. He doesn't beat us with it. He uses mercy and compassion mm. on us mm. with the staff. If we go too far, mm. the Holy Spirit will drag us mm. Have you ever been dragged here? Mm. 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 And it's a time when we're real, real rebell rebellious. And we go, oh. mm. But he pulls you in with compassion. Mm. So that's what the rod is for. But the rod is power and authority. The staff is for compassion and mercy. And it goes on and it says, I want to get to the part that I love. And it goes on and it says, uh, Thou anoint, thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Have you ever figured out what that means? For a long time I, I tried to figure it out. What does that mean, Lord? But the shepherd's responsibility is he goes before the sheep and he makes sure that the pasture is clean for the sheep. He makes sure that there's no, um, what is it, poisonous uh, leaves or poisonous plants. So we see that this good. We see that the shepherd goes in front. And he goes and he scopes the land to make sure it's okay. He's the hostess. And he wants to make sure that your table is fine. He wants to make sure that your table has plenty. He wants to make sure that your table, where you're going to be content, and you're going to be full, and you're going to be fed, that is the shepherd's responsibility. We need to be fed spiritually. Amen? Amen. When we read the word of God, I get fed. When I hear good, good messages, I get fed. I want to be fed by the Lord. He prepares the, the pasture for us. And, you know, sometimes when I think of Israel, Israel doesn't have a lot of green pasture. It's a desert out there. But we see that there's some green little um, leaves and plants that grow out there. So, But he still has to make sure that the pasture is good for the sheep. And it goes on and it says, he anoints my head with oil. I need that anointing. How about you? He anoints my head with oil. Do you know that it is the shepherd's responsibility to anoint us daily when we ask him. What happens when we don't ask him for an anointing? We are going to be messed up. Let me show you how. When the shepherd does not anoint the head of the sheep, there are some pests, some tormentors that we call flies, bugs, ticks, and they love to pass, they love to just uh, harass the sheep. And they come around when there's no oil on their head. They'll come around, these bugs and these flies will come around and they work themselves up the nose of the sheep. And once they work themselves up the nose of the sheep, they lay their eggs. The fly will lay their eggs in there. And once the eggs hatch, they become worms. And once the worms hatch, they start going into the head and they go into the brain. A shepherd knows when something's wrong with the sheep. When the sheep starts banging its head against a tree or against the rock, it's because there has been some worms in the brain. That's what happens because there's tormentors that love to be around the sheep that do not have oil. And another thing, those flies will even lay eggs on their eyes, on their ears, if they don't have the oil. The same thing with us. If we're not filled and touched by the power of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. the torment is going to come and take advantage mm -hmm. of us. That's mm -hmm. The torment is going to rip us up, tear us up, chew us up, and spit us out mm -hmm. when we are not covered by the anointing of mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you what happens when the shepherd anoints the sheep. Oh, it's, a, it's an ongoing process. And the shepherd loves to do this part. The shepherd will pour oil on the sheep. And when the sheep is filled with the anointing, with the oil that runs over, that's where the next phrase comes in. It runs over. It says, uh, what does it say? My cup runneth over. When the Lord anoints you, when the Lord anoints you, it's not just a small dab. 
Yes. Amen. Our God is not stingy or greedy. When he anoints you, it runs over. And when he anoints, when the shepherd anoints the sheep, we see that when the flies come, they can't lay their eggs on the sheep's head. They can't pester them because they slip right off. And the sheep is all excited because they can come and, and just uh, harass or torture the sheep. The sheep is free when its head is anointed. Can you say amen? Amen. And after that it says, my cup overflows. When he anoints you, you're an overflow. That's why you can minister to other people. That's why you can speak into people's lives. That's why you can heal mm -hmm. and restore and use the power that God has given you to minister. Yes. Last uh, couple of weeks ago, a pastor came over. He was having back problems. And he says, Sister Martha, I need to lay your hands on me. My husband was there. We agreed in prayer. And by the time he got home, he called us up and he says, I have not felt like this in a long time. I'm able to bend over. I'm able to move. I'm able to get on the bike. I'm able to walk. Guys, putlo na mo ang message kay is very important. Dili na lang na mo i ikat natay continuation part 2. Kay sayang man pod. Iba sana na bless mo sa message the Lord is my shepherd. Psalm 23. See you guys. We love you.